Advanced Agency Law, Chapter 1. Welcome to Advanced Agency Law. In this course, we will review various aspects of agency law in great detail. We will also discuss Utah law and rules regarding agency relationships. Chapter Outline, Chapter 1. Agency Law Overview. Utah Agency Law and Rules. Chapter 2. Agency Law Case Law. Agency Law Scenarios. Course Objectives. At the end of this course, you should be able to do the following. Explain the basics of agency law. Explain the specifics of Utah agency law and rule. Illustrate different agency principles through examples. We will only review a few agency concepts in this course. If you need a more comprehensive review of agency concepts, we recommend reviewing the basic agency courses. Remember you, as a real estate agent or broker, act as the agent for your principal, which is the buyer, seller, landlord, or tenant. Once an agency relationship is established, you have a fiduciary duty to protect the interest of your principal or your client. In other words, all of your actions should be in the best interest of your clients, as long as you're not doing anything illegal or making any misrepresentations. In real estate transactions, sometimes it can be difficult to determine when an agency relationship is actually formed. As the forming of an agency relationship is important for this course, we will review some basic concepts related to the beginning of an agency relationship. Agency may be either express or implied. Express agency. Express agency is created by an agreement between two parties, wherein the principal agrees to be represented by the agent. In Utah, if the agreement involves a real estate broker and a client, the agreement must be in writing. Other types of express agency agreements need not be in writing, although writing is always recommended. The express agreement details the particulars of an agency relationship. The agreement outlines the duties, obligations, and authority of the agent. The agreement also outlines the specifics of the duties and obligations of the principal, including compensation. It is important to note that compensation does not necessarily establish an agency relationship. Real estate offers an excellent example of compensation not following the agency relationship. The seller in a real estate transaction will often pay commission to both the buyer's agent and the seller's agent. By paying the buyer's agent compensation, the seller does not create an agency relationship with the buyer's agent. We recommended previously that agency agreements need to be in writing in the state of Utah. Utah requires an agency agreement between the principal and the agent be executed before the principal executes any type of contract, such as a purchase contract. This means that a buyer must sign an agency agreement with their broker before writing an offer to purchase a property. A seller must sign an agency agreement before listing their home with a broker. In this case, the agency agreement and the listing agreement are usually the same document. Let's explore the case of the buyer and the buyer's agent a bit further. We know that an agency agreement must be executed before a purchase contract is drafted. Does that mean there is no agency relationship before the offer is drafted? No. Remember, an express agency relationship may be established by oral agreement. Utah law just requires the oral agreement be put in writing before the client obligates themselves under any type of contract. So when does the agency agreement begin, and why do we care? Let's deal with the second question first. 
regarding why we care about the timing of the agency relationship. As we will cover in the next few agency courses, an agent owes several duties to their principal. If no agency relationship exists, these duties are not owed. It is important to understand when an agency relationship it is important to understand when an agency relationship begins because the relationship brings with it many obligations on part for both the principal and the agent. Let's assume a potential buyer contacts an agent asking for information regarding a home. 